super excited to talk to my next guest. It's been a while since we talked. I uh, am super excited to talk to him because I know the uh, aggression and getting back into his winning ways are, are right here. Uh, he will be fighting in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. He is the one and only Logan Storley. Logan, welcome. Good to talk to you again. How are you? Doing well. Doing well. Just, uh, you know, we're halfway home. I think we're four weeks out from Friday. So just getting getting everything dialed up and getting ready for the 28th. Headed back home. What is that like for you? You know, it's always exciting to get to go back to Sioux Falls. Like I've said before, not many people get to fight in their home state. Um, and I've got to do it quite a few times and so I'm excited to go do it again and undefeated at home. So I got to continue that. I was there uh, covering your la uh, last fight at home against Brennan Ward. And when I tell you, uh, given the venue, given the crowd, I have not seen a place shake like that uh, during your fight, the thrill of it, all of that. I know you said, you know, not a lot of fighters get that opportunity to fight at home and not, not a lot of them don't get to be undefeated at home. Can you talk about, how exhilarating it is to have that opportunity and have that crowd behind you like that. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. You know, uh, South Dakota is not a very big state. You know, there's less than a million people in the whole state. And the my sponsors, both the both those companies, GPAC and Get Biofuel are out of Sioux Falls. Friends, family, you know, everyone's close. So to get to go home, compete and put on a performance for everyone that supports you, you know, when you're fighting overseas and just my whole career means a lot. And you'll be taking on Loriana Staropoli in this fight, uh, the, the second round for PFL. I know the last one didn't go your way, but what's your mindset coming into this one? Uh, biggest thing is got to go out there and perform and kind of get rid of that last fight. And, you know, obviously with the point system is a totally different system than I'm ever used to. Uh, but for me, the biggest thing is getting a W, and then we kind of go from there. Um, it's going to take, you know, probably six points to push you in, and, and you're going to need some luck on your side. Um, so for me, that's kind of what I'm worried about is, is getting a W, finding a way to soften them up, go for that finish, and then have some luck on your side to be able to push you into the Final Four. Uh, absolutely. And, you know, one thing I've always respected about you and your fighting career is you, you're extremely smart with all of it. And you're very, you fight very intelligently. You don't get kind of caught up in the moment. But there is something I think, you know, I was excited to talk to you about because there is a, a moment really where you have to, you know, talk to yourself and your coaches about, yeah, I need these points, but we can't veer off from the game plan. And we don't want to set ourselves up to get you know, caught or in a trap. So what has that been like for you to just kind of have that mental moment of, I know I have to go get this finish. I want to go get this finish, but I don't need to go away from the game plan. Yeah. Um, obviously, like I said, the, the biggest thing is going out there and getting a W and confident in my ability to take this fight to where I need it to be and be able to really open them up and, and get that finish. But uh, I don't think you go in there sw swinging crazy and, and going totally away from your game plan just to try to get six. Abs absolutely. Now, before this, you know, last fight, the only two blemishes on your record were Yaroslav Amosov, and he obviously lost the belt to Jason Jackson. But you're on the PFL side of things now. Since I haven't talked to you since you were a Bellator fighter, just let me ask, what was the uh, – I guess conversation or decision process like for you to join the PFL side? Um, I think that we didn't know exactly how many times we we're going to get to fight with Bellator. And that's really, you know, um, I, I love working with Bellator and, you know, them being together, but I think, what do they have in eight shows, yeah. six shows? Yeah. So you might only get one fight because you have, they have to get all everybody from Bellator those fights. And so, that was kind of the thought process. If we're only going to get one fight the whole year where you potentially you could have four in, I don't know, wait, eight months or six months, something like that. Right. With PFL. And that was really, I didn't want to waste my prime um, sitting um, on the Bellator side at that, at that point, you know, and kind of new competition, um, a different format. And so that, that's why we ultimately end up going over to PFL. 
how are you taking a liking to this season style format, knowing you're going to stay active and, and obviously just a few weeks or 10 plus or weeks or so in between fights? What is it like for you to have that regular season format points and all that? Yeah, the points, um, obviously, the, the points is a totally different thing, but the season, I kind of like that because you go, you get a week, you know, week and a half off, go home, let your body rest, you know, recover. And then all of a sudden, before you know it, you're eight and a half, nine weeks out again, it's time to go. And so that's kind of been nice knowing when you're going to fight, knowing your schedule just in life and in the gym, you know, you, you kind of have everything set up for that. So I, I've really enjoyed that. On the note of PFL, obviously there's a lot of talk from people who don't know the ins and outs and they'll never, you know, walk through the decisions you have to make or the stuff you do as a fighter from the operational side. What has being on the PFL side of things been like for you as a fighter? Yeah, it's been good. It's been all good for me. Um, you know, we, at the end of the day, whether you're fighting for Bellator, PFL, UFC, one championship, whatever, you know, it's kind of the same thing. You get there on fight week, you make weight, you prepare to fight, you fight and you go home. And that's really what it is. You know, obviously there's differences with how, you know, each organization goes about things, Me media, you know, stuff can be different. Um, but at the end of the day, it's it's kind of all the same. It's all the same. Uh, would would you say with the fact that, you know, like you said, the regular season is something you like points, different conversation. But just knowing that there is a promotion and, and it's no discredit to Bellator, I think you guys worked very well together. But with PFL, it's like I don't, they'll do all the hype. They'll do all the you know social media stuff, all that. And I just got to walk in on fight week, do my job. And when I do the job, I'll get X amount of points and I'll just move on. You don't have to worry. There's no politicking, really. I mean, there, some people say there is because of the points and the seating and all that. But really, you just can go in and they're fighter, they're fighter focused first. Yeah, no, it's been good. Um, I guess you can't really, you can't talk your way into a title fight with PFL because you have to fight, you know. And so that's kind of nice. Um, but at the end of the day, it's really... You know, first round, second round, get yourself into the playoffs. And it's just single elimination from there, you know. So they're, they're, uh, the fighting takes care of itself. That's the biggest difference, you know, compared to other organizations. And sometimes, you know, guys can talk their way into um, a title fight. Yeah. And like I said, obviously staying active. One thing I've, I've since I saw you compete in South Dakota, I haven't had the chance to talk to you, you know, after the event. But I want to credit you, man, because here you were at home, main event, crazy fight, crazy situation against Brendan Ward. And then Michael Blockus was, you know, on the post limb card, uh, the only fight. You stayed in the back around the media, watching the monitor, and then just took it all in, watching him, and then celebrated with him afterwards. Why is not just being a great fighter, but just as much a great teammate so important to you? Yeah, you know, I had the likes of Robbie and Chandler and Rockhold and Ong and all these, you know, great guys that were around you that kind of helped you get to that next level, you know, that really put support and helped you with things. And so, you know, with these next, the guys coming up, you know, it's the same thing, um, kind of giving back um, after, you know, guys put, put energy and time into me. So that's really, really for me, what's, part of it and see you know they're minnesota guys too and um so it's always cool to see former gophers do really well yeah of course with how this season is kind of laid out if you were to uh, go in and do what you expect to do back home in south dakota on the 28th and you're able to get into the playoffs and then everything goes your way if you were able to clinch this tournament basically is what i'm asking get that pfl belt around your waist get that million dollar grand prize just first and foremost let me start what would that mean to you yeah it's one of those things where you know i've said it before is like the gun in the sport be the best in the world um you know got to get that bellator you know interim champ against mvp you know seeing him go over the ufc and has done really well um you know that's a big moment in my career and then you know this one just to add another another belt and really it just really why you got into the sport, you know, and I, I'm, I'm the best at what I do and all this time and hard work and all, also the setbacks and heartache and 
everything else that comes with the sport, you know, it's all worth it. And so for me, it's, um, yeah, really, that's, that's why, you know, you do it is to be the best in the world and get uh, that belt strapped around you. And so that's really, that's really the goal. I know you've had uh, gold with Bellator. And then if we talked about, you know, getting, if you were able to go ahead and, and clinch this PFL gold. Now we've seen in February, they did the chance versus champ series. Would it be a little awkward for you to be like, all right, I'm representing PFL. I got to go take on some Bellator foes. Or would you be open to it? Be like, hell yeah, let me get uh, Jason Jackson. If he still has the belt. Yeah. You know, we'll see what happens. Obviously me and Jason are good friends yeah. um, and train together and, you know, so it's a little different <clears throat> being over there and a lot of fights ahead of me right now at this point, you know. And so we that, you know, we haven't discussed that. You know, my biggest thing is trying to go in there and get six points June 28th and have a little help and get a, get in the final four. And then you got two fights from there. So really, that's kind of where I'm at with everything is um, got to take care of this next fight and and move forward. Simple question here for you, but the week before Jason Jackson will be defending that Bellator belt. How do you see that fight playing out for him? Yeah, you know, I, Jason's uh, got a lot of confidence right now. He's had two really great fights back to back. And, you know, I see, I haven't watched enough of the guys fighting. I've only seen this one fight, really. Um, obviously, you know, the guy's very good and undefeated, right? Um, yeah. It's tough. But I see Jason, you know, getting to his positions, using his length and um, winning that fight. This is a very easy question as well. Obviously, you, we talked about you being a mentor to, you know, the younger fighters, you know, in the gym. And we know just the amount of killer energy that is down there at Kill Cliff. And, and so many fighters, especially like, you know, yourself, Jason, I know uh, Jared Gordon in the UFC has a fight coming. There's so many guys I could go through the list who have fights coming up. What does it do for the room, not only for belts to get brought in there and, and all of that, but for everyone to kind of be competing around the same time and lift everybody up? What does that do for the room? Yeah, it's just uh, the room's a little busier. Everyone's there. And, you know, been working with Chandler this camp. He fights Connor the day after me. Uh, Jason's the week before. Um, you know, other Adam Forex is fights the same week as I, you know, so we did the first week, you know, so there's a lot going on, but I just everyone's kind of that focus is a little different. Everyone's, you know, lasered in on on their, you know, their fight and so that uh, the intensity is higher in the room. What makes Kill Cliff such a special team? That we have a lot of really good fighters, but it's also it's it's not a super team where everyone branches off and there's like the clicks, you know? And I think that's maybe what happens at some other teams from what I've heard. I've never really been anywhere else, you know, besides my time in Arizona and that was a small team, but everyone stayed pretty close knit and um, does, a, you know, does the work together. You know, it hasn't really branched off into guys training at different times and different coaches and guys being brought in that you don't know. And, so we really haven't had that. I I know you you don't get caught up in pretty much anything. You just show up, you like clock in, you go to work and you clock out. But and as I started this off asking, I've you know, as we get ready to wrap this up, I've got to ask, does it does it just get you just a little more amped up when you know you are going home and you now you're protecting a undefeated record at home? Now, given what you know happened in the last fight, now you're looking for redemption. I've got to feel, even if you don't show it, there's got to be a little something inside you that gets a little more amped up for this fight. Yeah, for sure. You know, I think the biggest thing is you want to put on a great performance at home, but you also want to get back to your winning ways and, um, you know, be excited to to be there. And, and that's really kind of where I'm at is just, you know, to show everyone and kind of forget about the last one and, and move forward. What is it, and just one or two more here, and I appreciate your time. What is it about you that allows you to just put that behind you? I mean, I'm not inside your head, right? But talking to you, you seem so level-headed, just mature in your ways and just you're not getting caught up in reflecting on the past, which so many people, not just fighters, can do. How do you stay kind of just even off of everything? Uh, you know, I think it's with at wrestling in Minnesota, you know, you might have a you're wrestling the top ranked guys every weekend. You might have a bad Friday and then you rebound on Sunday, you know, 
And so wrestling is one of those things where you take a loss and you have to rebound maybe in a tournament, you have to rebound an hour later. And so, yeah, it's tough because it's the first time, you know, I've ever been knocked out, ever been finished, you know, and that, that was tough to, it's a totally different thing, you know, for me, it's never happened. And, but it's, you know, having a guy like Robbie and in my corner, you know, Rob's been knocked out and it's like, Hey, we got to go back. We got to get ready again. And, you know, it's happened to almost 99% of everyone that's ever fought in this sport, you know? And so it's one of those things where you just got to go back and, and get ready and, and kind of forget about it and get your confidence back. Logan, I think you're a very good representative for PFL, obviously, as you were with Bellator, uh, obviously kill Cliff, uh, but just as a overall good person and good fighter. So I know South Dakota, South Dakota's excited. I know I'm excited. June 28th on ESPN Plus. I cannot wait to watch you take on Loriano Staropoli um, for the round two of this PFL tournament. Thank you very much for the time. Wish you all the best and uh, hope to talk to you after your fight. All right. Take care. Thank you.